Sordis, the Harry Devil, in one, two, three, go. That's okay. my blood. I didn't know there was a such a purple reconstruction. Uh, also, I apologize if you can hear any cracking noises or any other background. We, are, you, uh, we hear all the noises, honestly. Oh, okay, lovely. Because uh, we think something's up with the freezer and the fridge, because they they not as cold as they used to be, even though they're still on the on the plug and everything. Is there a lot of ice in there? Um, don't know, but uh, do you remember the two bottom cells in the freezer were like kind of stuck? We sometimes have the issue with there. our old freezer. Um, that it's no longer running as effective as it does and that's usually because there is too much ice that built up on the walls and so we have to turn it down and uh, let it basically tour for a day get everything out and uh, then put yeah, it back in the like, uh, problem is it's like the, the fridge itself is suffering more than the freezer because they're, you know, oh. they're connected and everything. And like, Ben, uh, ben noticed, like, I think yesterday, the other day before, that like, the the cheese we have there was not as cold as it was. Same with like other things in there. And like, oh, I even noticed geez. the milk today is, uh, the, the milk is also getting warmer. So mm. like, uh, mm. that's not good. The kettle nope. also is not working anymore, even though like the button to switch it on and off is working, and like you see a little light indicating it's on, but it's not warming any of the water. So yeah, the flat's falling apart, and we have no idea why. Yippee! Yippee! Uh, I'm doing quick environment for this one because. So how many heady ones are gonna be in this one? I mean, technically, all of them should be alright. Yeah, they should all be covered in picto fibers. Yes, but like, who's gonna do the most hairy, most fluffy, like, uh, scrungly, grambling impossible? He was gonna draw Babby. Bambi. Wait, is this Redux is a Babby. Babby. Bambi. I did not say that. Bambi. Yeah. Wouldn't say that. You, you, you would not say that. <laughs> She would say, nice shot. <laughs> nice cut. <laughs> that's actually no, what he would say. <laughs> no, Impulse, oh. that's Vdex. Oh. Okay. Impulse, that's <laughs> very <laughs> unusual for you to say. <laughs> I thought you were referencing Vdex. Uh, I was focusing Wait, more on you guys have I just... never seen that video? No, I know. I yeah, I know what you're talking you about. Know what it is, but like, still, it's a good video. Yeah. Gosh, on blur. We all know how it exists. Well, yes. Just because I that, just because I don't like doing that many sex jokes doesn't mean I can't do them. It's not illegal. Isn't there like a stereotype or like something that, that like ace people make the most sex jokes or something like that? I think I heard that somewhere. No, I, I think the stereotype is that uh, we don't get half of them, but we make the most the, the worst ones. Not in like yeah, that may, that bad just, way, more see, in like holy fuck. Way, a bad way. See, the thing is, the holy thing fuck, is, he's simply not ace aware. People, ace people make the best sex jokes because they focus on the humor instead of the haha, it's funny because sex. That is hey, it's true. A dick. <laughs> it's an that outsider's perspective looking in. Exactly. That's why it's so funny. Same thing goes for not safe for work on. <laughs> this is uh, scary. Think, think, <laughs> of, think uh, of the composition. Think of the composition. <laughs> uh, These dangly bits are important. Oh shit, I should actually start drawing sorties, shouldn't I? <laughs> you haven't started? No, it's I was over for you. The, it's eat. The it's it's eat. What are you expecting? <laughs> you know what, true. I was finishing the Anangora. Petite, you can just okay. do it after stream. No, no. You gotta you gotta finish it now, Petite, or else the or else the monster will get ya. <laughs> See, it's there. <laughs> Petite is her own monster, I guess. 
Maybe we were the monsters all along. Shit, where's the sweaty scalable? I mean, we are humans. <laughs> I'm cooked. I'm actually cooked. <laughs> Sassy yeah. will save you. Quick, Sassy, My drop Sassy the skeleton skeleton. on Petit. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Sassy skeleton. Oh, thank goodness. That could be really fun. <laughs> thank goodness this guy exists. Uh, where is... Does a skeletal have that? Okay, skeletal does have the right shape. Time... I focused on the pattern. Or not the pattern, the, the environment. Uh, till now, so I gotta start drawing him myself. You didn't even start drawing left. the animal. I mean, but did you start drawing the piece in the first place? Sad. Not cool. Good girl. God. All I'm hearing is a pot calling the kettle black. This is no. true. No. Nah. Because I actually started where Petit didn't. There's a few tones of gray in between. Okay. It's the same. <laughs> Listen, those grays are important. <laughs> Yeah, I love gray. I don't like gray's anatomy. <laughs> I've never seen it. Neither. Never. Neither. Neither. I don't know why I said never, and I meant neither. I can't <laughs> never. <it>. Never. <laughs> I will not watch this show. I will not watch the show I have referenced. I will never watch Star War. <laughs> That's gonna make a few people mad. No, the person who made th that original thread now it sucks, and that's an understatement. <laughs> it's... I have no idea what you're referencing. Uh, so before it, it wasn't it Andrew Tate? Yes, it was. Uh, so before he was known for a lot worse stuff, he made a very bad thread on uh what you could get for following his like kickboxing thing, and also for not watching Star Wars. Uh, and that's uh, what people knew about him uh, for years. And then uh, he got a lot worse randomly out of nowhere, at least publicly. Honestly, I, I, I wouldn't. I, I don't think that's random. It, it, it's actually kind of funny right. because it was already like a scam. It was. Oh like, yeah, no, like, it uh, was a scam. Woman won't it was... love you because you watch Star War. You should <laughs> instead uh, pay me to Star tell you War. how to make women walk love you. Star War. Star War. Mm. It's funny because this thread also has like 20 freaking Star Wars references. Oh, yeah, Including yeah. One no. that is like, I fucked your mom. <laughs> That's right, I am your father. I, I am. <laughs> you know, different yeah. interpretation of the line. Okay, uh, that's that's actually sure. a good one. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I kind of hate how that was actually a really good one. <laughs> Oh, that is actually a really good one. Oh, shit. Damn it. I want mom, to forget. Right, I, your I want to forget. I want to forget that I want to forget that Tate made that one. <laughs> it, it's it's too good for him. It's way it's too good for him. You want to reclaim it? He uh, doesn't deserve it. Sorian, what does this thing fan? have lips? We don't know. It is possible. Um especially in recent years, people like uh, me and um Mark Witten have speculated about stuff like that um i'm not gonna put lips on it dimorphodon for example has been reconstructed several times by now with with lips um could work especially for basal ones um this guy no clue i had, I had never thought Actually, about you know, that i'm gonna put lips on it most I had actually don't, don't never thought about lips and pterosaurs. Yeah, they had to develop a beak at some point. Well, multiple times. I guess. I guess we always yeah, like but, picture them. But then there's the stuff beak, like, yeah. like, for example, Rampharynchus. Lips just don't work on that creature. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, but, I, I'd like but, to see what kind of lips but, a creature but like Sordus, that would have. But for example, doesn't have the crazy teeth of. 
of Ram yeah. Ferencus. So I feel like for yeah. example, something like uh, Anurognatic also will look very cursed without lips. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, Anurognath is, is, is another case where it's like lips, yes, no. There are at least. Yeah, since they're more terrestrially inclined. And also, they're small enough to fit in lips, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's like tooth size along with tooth angle coming out of the mouth. Angle, but also <laughs> number shit. and size and distribution. It's yeah. like comparing ichthyosaurs to like. Know the source and please you sword. It is a Very question funny. that makes people angry. <laughs> still not answered. Let's say it this way. Okay. Yes. And yeah, even if some pterosaurs had lips, we don't know the rest. It's yeah. I feel it's like a complex with some of that, issue. Can you, could you tell by uh like uh pitting on the. Partially. Uh, or at least, like, would it be Partially. different from, like, lips to uh, keratin? Would it be, like... We... It's, it's hard to say, really. As Brian mm. Eng pointed out recently, we understand... Um, we are getting way over our heads in the moment with, like, interpreting um, soft tissue structures or, the, or their presence based on bone texture yeah the issue is yeah. way more complex than oh this is pitted this has so many foramina this has this and this and this like look look at stuff like um amagasaurus oh. amagasaurus also... has has these horns and it's seven minutes and uh, 50 seconds left, by the way. And uh, okay. there were previous interpretations that proposed um, that these would be keratin covered, everything. Same with Bachatosaurus, based on the superficial um, similarity uh, of the bone texture to animals with such structures. And then people looked at the histology and were like, nah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, I, I feel like it is a complicated topic that you need multiple uh, sources of reference. Uh, and just using one is not a good way to do a conclusion. Like, yep. you gotta, you also gotta look at like muscle attachment sites and stuff in the case of things. Uh, like, yeah, and certain uh, things just don't might might be like specific to to certain clades like the uh, in in mammals for example uh we have quite a few of uh animals with very rugose uh snouts yeah but there is no keratin sheet on top instead we have oftentimes like these fleshy pads and stuff yeah yeah like, yeah. that gets into the whole question of when synapsids got lips, and that's its own rabbit hole. Yippee. Oh, God. Well, I mean, I feel like they never... When? Huh? Or I don't... Lips. I mean, mobile, there's... there's, mobile there's ah, I, okay, I, okay. I mean, okay, I think... Okay, I was confused. I was no, confused yeah, my whole yeah, time. Yeah, no, no, no. Mobile lips, I mean. Because, uh, like, uh, gen like generic lip-like <laughs> tissue is, like... A fish thing. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think the the mobile lips go back probably to our ability to to produce milk, which is also sense. the question of when. Did that... I mean, yeah, that's <laughs> that's probably the more difficult question. Uh, but I think for that we could actually have something like uh, uh yeah. here um the some genetic is... testing. That could have oh, yeah. maybe a little bit at least. Uh, five mm. minutes, by the way. I mean, all modern mammals produce milk, so that's a start. Yeah. Though through different means. Uh, because we yeah, have monotremes. But, yeah, but the feeding methods, I think it's the same, right? Like, they shock still. 
either nipples or just skin, right? Like, you well, need mobile lip either way. Well, that's, yeah. That's my point. I mean, there's the whole yeah. point of, yeah, when the specialized, like, skin glands that are now nipples happen, like... But that, I feel like that's I mean, more like, you, you, still, you still need, like, like relatively mobile uh, yeah. lips just for, for sucking uh, oh, yeah, milks. Yeah. A milk, even if if it's not like a sp specialized. Oh, like, uh, yeah. Echidna like has that. mobile lip drives. Um. Do, do, wait. Do, so wait. Do I, I I would guess like the that would mean the the mobile lips go probably back to at least the common ancestor of all modern day mammals. Yeah. Mammals. The funny so thing that would oh. mean uh, some group of uh, sign of dance, but like, which makes yeah. sense. The yeah. weird thing about extant monotremes is they don't, like, at least as adults, they don't really have quote unquote normal oral tissue. Yeah, no. Yeah. But they, they are have also very derived. They have a rubber, fleshy, beakish thing. But both are very derived, though. So. Yeah, just built yes. different. Yeah. But I love Echidnas. So cute. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't? Yeah, like there was the whole question with uh, multi tuberculates. I feel and, like. Like their reproductive habits. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. I mean, we know. So pretty sure that they. At least they had for sure milk. For sure. Yeah, yeah, no. They, they had milk. Yeah. <laughs> you got milk. Milk. I mean, there's also the question if these guys might have had an, uh, a pouch. Mm. Yeah. Stuff. If the, like, how derived of a trait are marsupiums, yeah. actually? Like, when did marsupiums mm. originate? But also, the que mm. uh, then the question is, like, how good is the there's a pouch bone? Um, like, how good Wait, of what? an indicator is that? Yes. You mean the epipubic bones? I'm not sure they call it. The epic pubic bone. If... Uh, epic. Okay, if... I, I've learned a handful epic of odd things epic. from listening to the skeleton crew. I don't know how many of them are true. Hopefully most. Apparently the, the epic pubic bones have nothing to do with a pouch. That's not very epic. That is not uh, epic at all. It's very pubic. There's... Because they're entirely within the body. Like, they, yeah. they don't touch the pouch. There's... Somebody lied to me when they told me. Mar yeah. Marsupials in general are super weird. Mm -hmm. There's something really weird about their brain. I'm pretty sure it's... Uh, is it something like they don't have gray matter in between the two or something like that? Like, that that's a potential mammal. I would need to check. But, hmm. like, there's something really weird about their brain. Uh, when yep. compared to percent, one minute forty seconds. Animals. I'm, not, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that sounds like uh, freaking like racist pseudoscience. <laughs> Towards gray, gray, gray matter, they are stupid. <laughs> oh no, no, they uh, it's, it's not. Kidding. It's that yeah, it's that uh, there's a different uh, like connection style between the two hemispheres. But what I remember is correct. We would differentiate I love the from people I love that the, they know very matter. Yeah. I love the concept of uh, racist Eutherians to, towards Metatherians. Yes, fuck them. Fuck my Scorpions. Goddamn pouch havers. <laughs> Disgusting. Pouches. Aren't you ashamed no, of no, yourself? Don't worry about it. If, if we keep going... The same way that we did for the thylacine, uh, versupials are indeed fucked. I'm so pissed. We could have. We are so close to having a thylacine. Thirty seconds. As an Australian, I'm like personally salty about that. You should yeah. be. Hmm. Should kill them for what they did. But hey, you have night parrots, so that's something. Yeah, they're going extinct because of introduced cats. I mean, a lot of things are going extinct because of cats. Well, well uh, mm. 
the fact that those of you in America going extinct go, by Chinese cats uh, doesn't really bang, bang. counteract that at all. Yeah. Mm. I don't think that. W- I think that was uh, that was more of a sad thing that. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. It gets really sad because I found a paper that went over like uh okay. different Time uh, to post. uh Oh. Uh different uh rates based off of uh like of extinction based off like different invasives uh mm. like species. And it listed <laughs> uh like things that are brought up to be examples of uh causes for extinction rates in a bunch of uh, endangered and extinct uh, animals. And cats weren't the highest, they were the second highest. 